know why I'm praying for you. I'm removing the spirit of Satan in your life. Amen. Because I saw you when you were young. Are oh, you hear me? Amen. The family used to believe in Sangomas a lot. Amen. You hear me? Amen. And I saw them taking you there. Huh? Amen. Were you, are you aware of that? No. I'm telling you. Where is your mom? She's not aware. The family used to believe in those things. That, and they used to take you to go when you were still very young. And the reason why all of you have tied you. Jesus mighty name. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our prophetic crossover service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makaranisa. And with me here today is my sister who received a prophecy from the man of God, Prophet Andres Simono. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Jane Maroa. I'm from Tembisa, but original from Limpopo. Today you had an opportunity to sit down with the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, Prophet Andres Simono. Please take us through what the man of God said to you and please confirm it. Okay. He prophesied the issue of the, I think it's a generational case, yes, from the great and great grandmothers. Yeah, and I was not away, 100% away, but when I, was, when I grew up, just... That's the thing which is bothering me all the time. And even today, I'm a woman now, but that's the thing which is bothering me all the time. Why things are not moving, each and everything I do, but he just confirmed everything, yeah, which is true. And please tell us in detail what the man of God said to you. Um, you're saying that he spoke to you regarding a generational curse. Did he specify what this generational curse is about? It's like they were doing rituals for Sangomas. They took me while I was still young. It's like they want to pass it as a legacy to me. You see, that's the, that's the reason, that's the issue. Yeah. And how do you feel that today you sat down with him and he spoke to you regarding a generational curse? He prayed for you and then a solution was given upon your life. I'm free because this was holding me. Amen. My job, marriages, everything, this was the main issue which I, I suspected. I don't know the family, I just met them when I'm old enough, but I knew that this was the real problem, yes. And what words of encouragement do you have to somebody who's currently watching us who's trying to break from generational curses? Okay, they have to believe in God. And all the time, when I, I talk about cherries, I knew my problem was going to end because it, this is not my first time. So I knew that I have to go. Then every person has to believe in God. They have to believe in cherries. Yeah. Today I'm free, Amen. yes, and I believe today, 12 o'clock 2022, will be my year. Amen. Thank you. And I promise I'll be back for the testimonies. Amen. We, can, we really can't wait um, to hear you share your testimony with us. And we honestly believe that, um, as the man of God said it to you, we believe that it will surely come to pass. Thank you so much. Amen. 